You guys, it is here. I'm so stinking excited. Oh my gosh. Today is the day. I have been talking about us getting a new couch for ages, it feels like. I'm so sorry to keep you hanging on so long if you're actually interested in, in this kind of thing, but it was kind of a difficult process for us to finally get it. That's why it's taken so long and I've talked about it for so long, but today's the day I'm getting the couch. You're going to hear all about it. I did real fast want to tell you a little bit about it. We got it from Ikea. This couch was not on my radar at all. We had a couch that we liked at Value City Furniture that we had wanted to buy. It was expensive, so we didn't buy it a few years ago when we had seen it. We were, we were waiting because we needed something budget friendly and it was a little bit out of budget back then. So we like waited and then when we went to finally get it I like I looked it up online and read the reviews and it had horrific reviews and we were so disappointed so after a couple of years of searching like every furniture store we could multiple times trying to find the exact couch we wanted we were like starting from square one basically and we just happened to be at an Ikea just because like we like to walk around one every once in a while. Our Ikea is far away, but every once in a while, if we go that direction, we'll stop and look. And we were in there one day and we saw this couch, decided to sit down on it. And we were like, this is freaking awesome. And it was half the price of the other couch that we liked. So we came home, did some quick measurements and decided exactly what we wanted. And we couldn't get it from the store. So I guess basically from the pandemic, things were just not shipping out and they weren't getting the pieces we needed in the store. And every time I would check or call or whatever, they just didn't have all the pieces that we needed. And there was one time, and I mentioned it in one of my videos, that we're getting a couch soon. There was one time we thought we were because all the pieces were in. We were like on the phone, renting a truck. I was on the way to drive to get it. Uh, because I had to go drive, purchase it, and we were getting a truck and we were going, my husband was gonna meet us up there and load it because it was a big couch. And I was like working with a lady on the phone and somebody bought two of the pieces like as I was working with her and they were gone. And it wasn't available to ship when I was looking either because there wasn't enough inventory. So we decided to just hold off, keep an eye on it, um, and then all of a sudden, like I kind of forgot about it. I went from checking every single day on the website to like just not checking at all. And then one day, it was in January, I think late January, I was like, oh, you, like all of a sudden it popped into my head and I was like, oh, I should check and see if the couch is available. And it was, it was available for shipping. And I was like, holy crow, like we're finally gonna get it. So like I put it in my cart and I bought it and I said to my husband, I'm like, I don't even wanna believe it's real until I get like a confirmation and see that it actually charged my card because who knows if it's actually coming true at this point, but it did and it got delivered. So you're gonna see now. So I'm gonna share with you all the footage of this Ikea Soderham couch and let you know all of my thoughts on it now that we've had it for a couple of weeks. I did. So. Oh my gosh, it's so huge. There's like seven pieces. One of the pieces is an arm piece, but the rest is like six big pieces and it's going to be enormous. I think we're gonna end up switching our TV from this wall to this wall so that we have this whole wall for the couch. But it's gonna be a process and it's probably not happening today. So for now, I'm gonna start working on putting it together and then somebody's coming to get this couch tonight so if all goes well I'll have a new couch set up tonight so first things first I am going to go ahead and start with the ottoman just because it's right here and I figure it's probably the easiest thing to put together first I wanted to show you just a little bit of putting the couch together I did not do the whole thing because there are videos on YouTube if you're looking for that kind of thing but this will just show you how easy it is basically you take it out of a box there's like this metal bar that will uh, go across the furniture piece and you lift that up and bolt it in. And then after that, you basically screw in the legs and then put on the slip covers. And then if there's an arm or uh, like a side piece to it, then you attach that. But it's all in the instructions. And like I said, there are YouTube videos that show that kind of thing. So if you want to see it like more in depth, other than what I'm showing you, 
um, definitely check those out instead. But um, I just wanted to show kind of how easy it was for this to be put together. Okay guys, so here it is, finally all put together. I did it pretty much by myself. My daughter helped just a little bit on two of the pieces, like stuffing some of the pillow cushions, but for the most part, I did it and it took me about five, five and a half hours. It's not hard to do, it just is time consuming. Um, it's enormous, like it's so big. So as you can see, like it doesn't fit on this wall, which we already knew it probably wouldn't. And it only leaves about, I don't know, two feet, maybe a foot and a half right here to get like to the stairs in the front door. Sorry about the mess over there. And so we're gonna go ahead and switch this. And I think we're gonna work on that today. I don't know how easily it will be done, but we're gonna try it anyway. And as you can see, like that's only half the boxes that I have to get rid of. I already got rid of the other half. And then, like, I don't even know what to do with everything. Like, I'm not even putting things away right now because I don't know where everything's going to go once it's flipped. So we're just kind of leaving it. I have, like, this bench here that was with the keyboard. The keyboard's downstairs right now. I don't know where I'm going to put that or these lamps. Um, that right there is the other arm to that chase. Like, I had, I ordered the extra arm because, let me show you. Otherwise, it's just like open and we want to be able to like lean probably in the corner, if that makes sense. So I have that arm that will go there and then that extra little pillow will go on that side. Um, also, it's really kind of funny to see my like throw pillows on here because they look so like unsubstantial on this couch because this couch is so freaking enormous, but whatever. Um, we do like it so far. It's definitely different, probably not as comfortable as our other one, but then again, we had the other one for 14 years, so it was really well broken in. So we're going to see, um, how we like it. Hopefully we end up loving it because I do love the size. We can all force it on there very easily, which was the whole point really. Um, also this part is the ottoman, um, and we didn't attach all the pieces together. So like this is just an ottoman. And so we could literally put this right here and create basically two more chase areas. Um, and each of these seats is like 36 inches. So that's plenty of room to set everybody on there. Um, and like I said, I didn't attach all the pieces except for this corner has like two brackets on each side. And so this chair and this chair are attached to this, but the rest of the pieces are all separate. So they do have like stuff to attach it all together, but I don't know if I will, honestly, just because it'll be harder to move and I need to be able to move it to vacuum and things like that. So I might just leave it unattached. <music> We 
officially got it switched up and I like the way it is. It's like, it feels much more open now, which is weird. I'll show you like from my couch, you can see like the door and then you can see the dining room, which is kind of nice. Um, so it feels open, but we still have so much stuff everywhere. Like we have our clock to put back. I don't know what I'm going to do with this because this chair used to face the TV on that wall. Now it's facing the couch. You can't see the TV with it. And it's like, if I sit here, I'm looking at my couch, which feels weird. So there's a part of me that wants to move this over towards the fireplace figure out something different to do with that. I have no idea where we're gonna put our keyboard. Um, I do have like some space over here. So I was almost considering doing like a sofa table here and doing baskets underneath that that would hold our blankets maybe. I don't honestly know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, and then we just have like all of our electronics basically everywhere still. That have to get put away we have like a big pile over there uh some on my desk i had these pictures up above my couch but i don't think they're gonna look right anymore on this wall they like fit really well on the short wall but now that this is a long wall i think it would look weird so i don't know if i'm gonna do new art or just leave it for now we'll have to see okay guys so now that you have seen the couch and know like how we have it all put together and stuff. I wanted to take a few minutes and talk about how we feel about the couch so far. So like I said previously, our other couch we had had for 14 years, it was really well broken in and well loved and it was really, really comfortable as much as I hated it because of how I couldn't clean it. It was, it was extraordinarily comfortable. It was very well broken in. So um, the hardest adjustment for us, I feel like is just finding comfortable spaces to sit on on this couch where we feel kind of like we did on the other couch. I don't, that probably doesn't make any sense, but it's like finding your spot on the couch and the perfect position of the pillows and whatever and exactly how you want to sit so that you feel like at home on your couch. It is a really comfortable couch. I think one of the things we love the most is how deep it is. Like, each section I think is, don't quote me on this, but I'm almost positive it's like 36 by 36. So it, like each square is three feet by three feet. And that's a really deep couch. And the back cushions are pretty thin. Like they're maybe, I would say maybe four inches thick or something like that. So you have a very deep seat. And actually my daughter had a sleepover this past weekend and both the girls slept on the couch. And it's like wide enough that it's almost like a twin bed and they each had like one um, side where like one was on the chase and one was on the other corner and they slept on it like bed. And both of them said that it was so comfortable. My son fell asleep one day after work on it and said it was so comfortable that he could never sleep on the other couch, but he actually fell asleep on this one. So he's all, you know, excited about that and thinks it's super comfortable. So we love that. I really love that it is like a lower couch, like the height of it is lower. And I like that it's open at the bottom because it's such a large couch. And we chose that because obviously it's a sectional and we decided how big it was, but because of how big it is, it being low and open at the bottom, it like it's big, but it doesn't feel like it's taking up the entire room. Like it still feels kind of open and airy. The light color helps too, but we're really happy um, with the shape of it and the size of it and even the comfort of it. Now, the one thing that I'm not a huge fan of comfort wise is the actual material. It's a little bit rougher than what I would have liked. The one we sat on in Ikea when we were choosing it, I don't know what kind of fabric it was, but it wasn't the white one. And I don't know that it felt the same. If it did, I didn't notice, but I'm not a huge fan of, it's just a little bit stiffer and rougher than I probably would have wanted, but that's fine. Um, and then the other thing I can't really attest to is how well it washes up. And what I'm curious about is if the fabric shrinks and how the fabric wears. What I can tell you is they, they advertise it as a washable couch because it's got all the slip covers and it is. 
but the only way to actually wash the entire couch is to take the whole thing apart again. All the like sides and the arms, they screw into the square base pieces and the slip covers Velcro underneath. You might've seen it in my footage when I was putting together the ottoman and you'd have to take apart the arms and the backs of the couch in order to get the slip covers off and on for the base part of the couch. Now the seats actually zip on and I really like that. However, I wish Ikea had done it differently and I'll show you that in another clip, but basically I feel like they put the zippers on the wrong side of the cushion. Like you have, I don't, I'll show it to you in another clip. This might be a little hard to see, but it ends up right here, which is fine. That part's fine. Now, what I wish they had done was to do the zipper on this side right here. If they had done it where you could attach it right here and just flip it down, that would be so easy. Instead, you have to do the zipper back here. So you have to pull this back and unzip this like this. It's fine, but putting it together was hard harder than it needed to be because you have to be able to like pull this back and get these two attached to zip it. So that would be um, like a design thing that I would do different. It's funny because with the chase, they actually did it properly like on one of the zippers. So like here, okay, I'm gonna zip the first one because this has three zippers. This one right here is on this side which is perfect. I wish all of them were like this. And then the one back there, you have to do from the back cushion. So and if they would fix that, it would be so much easier to take the cushions off and on. The other thing is the fabric does seem to wrinkle as we've been sitting on it, but I am curious to try out like a steamer on it and see if I can like steam the fabric every so often to get it looking kind of fresh and new. Um, and if I have to do that, you know, once a month or probably who knows, maybe twice a year to get it looking fresh and nice. Great. So that is like one of my complaints is that the cushions are not easy to get off and on. Um, and then I want to see how it wears because if the fabric doesn't wear well, there's going to be a difference between the cushion fabric and the base fabric. And I won't like that if it does that. Like I have an example, like my chair, I reupholstered this chair like 10 years ago and I wash this cushion all the time, but I can't wash the upholstered arms. And you can literally see the difference in the wear um, and the color too, because obviously I can't clean this as well and it's white right? So I'm interested to see if it's going to do something similar to that. I hope not. This doing that actually makes me want to reupholster this and I probably will soon. And if I do, I'll film it so you guys can see how we do it. Obviously the biggest advantage was the price and we paid a hundred dollars to have it delivered. And that was so good for us because we have three Ikeas within two hours of our house. So it takes a lot to get there and we would have had to rent a truck because you saw those boxes. There's no way that would have fit in my van. And we had it so that it was only, it's like in their self-serve section, which means that even if it said it was available online, when you got there, there may not have been parts of your couch available. And that actually happened to us once before we were about to go get it. And I was working with a lady who was from Ikea and she offered to go down and check to make sure that the pieces were actually there. And while she was down there, a customer literally grabbed two of the pieces of the couch and there was no more left. And she was like, it's not going to be worth it for you to come. And I was already on my way. So the fact that I could get it delivered, it was only a hundred dollars, which is probably cheaper than renting a truck anyway. And the gas and the time and everything else to go up there. So I was very willing to do that. I did check out a couple of YouTube videos on the Soderham couch to make sure that I knew how to put it together. And that actually did help me because their instructions, not so great. I mean, 
not terrible, but it could use words. I would say that one of the things I'm not a huge fan of is how you're supposed to attach the couches together. They have these brackets, which makes sense, like how you use them, but it's like a plate that goes into like two screw holes and then you, I don't know, you're supposed to bolt them in there and then have a leg on it. And that's fine if you're just doing a couple of pieces together, but like a couch our size, there's no way you could attach all those pieces. On our corner piece, we do have the corner and then each of the um, pieces to the side attached. There was these like metal brackets that attach to that corner piece and come out almost like an L like this. And in the L sits the other piece of the seat. So you like, there's like this piece of the seat, this L, and this goes on top of the L like this. The problem is you have to squeeze these two pieces together so hard. They give you this tool so you can do that, but you're literally reaching underneath the sofa to get it squeezed enough to actually fit down and pop into those brackets. And then if you want to move the couch, let's say to vacuum underneath it or whatever, it's hard to move it um, because those three pieces then together are heavy and it doesn't feel like super sturdy. Like if you pull too hard on one piece, it's like you worry about um, potentially breaking the wood of the other piece. I don't know that it would, but I don't want to take the chance of that either. So I'm not a fan of how they attach the pieces together. I wish they just had like some sort of clips that you could um, clip the two pieces underneath and just leave it at that instead. And then that way it's like easily removable and um, instead of making it more of a permanent solution with the metal brackets that you have to screw in and attach the legs. Um, so for that reason, we only have those three pieces on the corner attached and then everything else is loose. As we've been sitting and using it, the pieces don't move. Maybe that's because it's on carpet and so they stay where they're supposed to. So that has not been a problem for us at all. I don't know if I have anything more to say about it except for it's a really, really nice couch at a really, really good price. If, and if you are looking for some sort of sofa that you can make bigger or smaller, I actually highly recommend this. But if I were you, check like online to make sure it's in stock at the store if you're getting it at the store or if you can wait to get it shipped, get it shipped. If you can get it shipped, get it shipped. And actually the delivery service was stinking awesome. They called t twice the day before telling me a certain window that they were going to be here. And I think it was between 11 and 3 or something, I think it was between 11 and three. And like the voice message just said, if you have a problem with that, give somebody a call or give this number a call. I didn't call them because I didn't have a problem with that. And then they call the day of and they say your delivery should be there within the next 10 to 30 minutes. They do say there could be a delay or whatever. It's just an estimate and that, you know, it should still be there with in the original time window that they had said the day before, but it was so accurate. And so it's like, I knew that the delivery person was coming. I was on the lookout for him. And basically like, I just made, I just had him bring everything up to the door. And as he would bring one piece, I'd just slide it in over by my fireplace. He'd bring another one and I'd slide it in so that we kind of did like a chain thing. So stinking easy. So I really loved the delivery service. Like I said, if you can get that done, it is completely worth it, especially if you're doing like a big piece like this. So that is all that I have to say about the Sutterham couch. If you have any questions about it, like I don't know if I answered, you know, everything that you might be curious about, but leave any questions down below. I replied to all my comments, so I'll be happy to answer anything that I can. And I don't know. That's it. So thank you so much for being here and I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos. I have a bunch of things coming out, especially with spring decor and cleaning. So definitely hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. And thanks again for being here and I will see you in my next video.